and subscribers. This is your <clears throat> weekly reading for all signs. So let's get started. We start off with Capricorn. Capricorn, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So some of you are having financial problems of some sorts, maybe um, financial failure. For some of you, money could just be getting in the way of love. You're putting money and uh, things that have to do with money or financial things ahead of people and ahead of things regarding your personal life. Um, some of you just could be having... Uh, Discord in the home, problems in the home, which is usually what the Ten of Pentacles can be. But usually it is finances. So you could be experiencing financial difficulties this, this week. Um, I hope it doesn't affect your Thanksgiving. Now, we move on to Pisces. I'm um, sorry, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Cups. Now, you guys are going to be getting into, or you might be in a relationship or getting into a relationship that, is, that you are very devoted to, that you cherish. The Queen of Cups is very much about... Um, you know, a supportive connection, a very deep connection with somebody and another person, and you're just all about that person or that person's into you with the Queen of Cups, deeply emotional. If it's not that this week, you guys will be doing meaningful work, could be volunteer work or otherwise to help other people. Pisces, two of cups in reverse. So you're having a problem with somebody else. There could be arguments, there could be dishonesty. Some of you could have a separation of some sort. Some of you could be breaking up this week, or it could just simply be a lack of understanding between uh, uh, two people, you know, a colleague, a friend, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, even though sometimes the two of cups is usually indicative of that. But um, it could just be a lack of, of understanding and you guys just aren't connecting and there's a chance that you could rekindle and you can connect later on, just not this week. All right. Aries, you guys have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So some of you are a little depressed this week. Some of you are a little disappointed this week. Um, the Ace of Cups is usually about something that doesn't pan out, a new beginning that didn't happen. And as a result, it's affecting you emotionally. Some of you could be repressing your feelings this week and not expressing them. And we know that's not a good thing to do. So we're definitely find somebody that you can talk to. And most of all, the advice that goes along with that card is to make sure that you guys hold on to your self-belief and that you kind of push through this week. All right. Next, we move on to Taurus. Taurus, you guys have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So um, some of you might be thinking, might be avoiding something, not wanting something to happen. And the reason why is you're thinking it's going to be terrible. Um, and what's actually happening, it might not be as terrible as you think. This ending or whatever you have in your mind, you'll see that if you just go ahead and do it, It'll turn out fine. It won't be fine. It won't be as bad as you thought it would be. Now, the Ten of Swords can also be growth after trauma. So you guys could be coming out of some kind of traumatic event and growing from it. Or you Tauruses could be dealing with old pain, learning how to heal, learning how to recover from it this week. Gemini, you guys have your card, the Lover's card, which is awesome. Okay, so for some of you, you could be, it could be love at work. It could be you're getting closer to a colleague. I just like to always throw the work thing in there. For other of you, Gemini, it can be just positive love, a really strong connection that you're experiencing with somebody, opening your heart up to each other. And yes, the soulmate or somebody that you really connect with at that level. For others of you, Gemini, this week, you will be facing choices and decisions. But the only thing is sometimes with the lover's card, the decision has a catch that goes along with it. So um, even though you want to decide something, you know that there is a catch 22 along with it. So that's what you guys could expect this week. Um, over here, we have Cancer, which is the Hermit card in reverse. Okay, Cancers, it seems like a lot of you guys are going back into your shells this week. This is also the card of Virgo, if that resonates for you. Uh, the Hermit card is kind of closing yourself off from other people, not being wanting to be around people. Um, but the problem with this is it's more isolation and being lonely and not wanting people around you and sulking and withdrawing. Um, so this is, really isn't the healthiest way to kind of be. Um, the Hermit card in the upright is about meditation and reflection and you know, really using the solitude to figure things out. But in the reverse, to me, it's avoidance, just taking yourself away from people, not really communicating to people what's wrong. I know you guys tend to go into your shells from time to time and then come out. So this might be a period where you're just kind of like sticking inside of your shell. Make sure you don't do that for too long. Make sure you go out, come out of it, socialize. You guys do, you know, socializing and friends um, it can be important for your, you know, mental health in general or spiritual health. So just make sure you get too caught up in that. 
Um, here we have Leo, Leo, justice card in the upright. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra. For other of you Leos, you could actually have a judgment that is going to go in your favor. It can be legal documents. You guys could be having legal decisions, law matters going on right now, but it's about fair decisions and those things going in your way. For others of you Leos, you might be just concentrating on doing what is morally right doing the right thing, being an advocate for somebody, being a voice for somebody, standing up for somebody that, you know, can't speak for themselves, um, leading some sort of charge. And that too usually ends up in some kind of a positive outcome. And then for others of you, Leos, it's just really just trying to balance things in your life. Justice can be about balance, how to balance love, how to balance business, how to balance money or all three of those things within your life. Okay. So that's it for you, Leos. Next, we move on to Virgos. Virgos, nine of wands in the upright. Okay, so you guys are being a little distrustful, a little wary. You're, um, somebody might be questioning you and it's making you a little, like I said, wary. You're concerned about them. The nine of sword, I mean, the nine of wands is about building up this fort around you, not really wanting anyone to come in. You're worried about being hurt. You're making sure you're protecting yourself. Um, some of you might've actually, some of you Virgos might've actually been through some sort of a battle or a struggle and this is what's making you a little bit wary but the thing about the nine of wands is to realize don't give up now that you are resilient that you have gone through it um, and even though you're a little careful of who you're going to let in just be prideful that you did go through something and that you're still standing because that's one of the messages of the nine of wands for you Virgos okay next we move on to Libras we have the three of cups in reverse so some of you could be dealing with an affair or a betrayal of some sort um this can also be about just a change in a dynamic of a relationship, of a friendship. You know, one person leaves the circle of friends and it changes the dynamic or a new friend is introduced and it changes the dynamic. This could be in a work situation, a group of colleagues. So things are changing in regards to, like I said, uh, colleagues, the business, friendships, uh, you know, romantic relationships. And it's just something you're going to have to kind of fold into the universe and kind of, kind of deal with. Okay. Um, another thing is that some of you Libras could be experiencing block creativity at this time. The three of cups can actually be that. So the best thing to do is kind of take a break from whatever you're doing right now, whether it's a project or a situation and return to it when you're grounded. Okay. Um, and that'll help unblock the blocks that you have going on for you Libras. Scorpios, you guys have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Um, some of you are having unrealistic expectation this week in regards to a matter or in regards to somebody. Um, some of you could be dealing with somebody who's very selfish, has narcissistic tendencies. They tend to put themselves first. They're very materialistic and they're not really worried about your agenda or what you think, okay? Some of you could be overindulging this week. That's the Nine of Cups also. Um, a little too much drinking, a little bit too much eating, but it, that makes sense because it's Thanksgiving weekend. And also finally, for you Scorpios, you too, just like Libras, could be suffering from creative blocks. Usually when the cups are reversed, it's about not being as creative as you could be, not as free flowing as you could be. Okay. So just be aware of that for this week. Finally, Sagittarius, you guys have the seven of pentacles in the upright. You guys could be wondering if all this work that you're putting on into something is going to pay off long term. For some of you, it could be just simply putting work into a house um, or any, you know, anything that is tangible like that. You're putting work into it. You're fixing it up and you're hoping that you're going to get a return on your investment. For others of you, it could be a relationship. Um, for others of you, it could be a work situation. Whatever it is, you're working on it. You're stopping. You're considering, is there going to be potential success? Am I going to get what I'm putting into this? And really the message of this card is don't stop. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep on working on that garden. It will pay off. Um, put those negative thoughts out of your head and realize that you will get the payoff for this. Okay. So just keep on plowing away and digging away at that garden and it will bear fruit. Okay. Thank you guys for checking in for your weekly update. Check me out on other social media, especially YouTube for my sun moon readings. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnet. Bye guys.